If you have been following us in the social media for the last year, you have seen a lot of Sama's work. I really wanted to give you an insight about how it was for her. So, let's see how it was. Hello, Sergio. Thanks for talking to me today. It's my pleasure. Um, I would like to start our conversation by pushing up some memories. Do you still remember the first impact or impression that you had of to be in a quiet bag? Oh, like it was yesterday. I know that a year has already passed, but it's uh, tough to forget when uh, my first impression, basically. Um, I thought that uh, Tabina looked really cool. Uh, it had a very Berliner vibe. Obviously, it's in the name, right? Kreuzberg. And I thought that the vibes were really chill, but very professional and organized, and that the, the people were really cool. Can you remind us exactly what was the position that you were initially hired and probably tell us a little bit how it evolved during the last year? Mm -hmm. Sure. So the position itself is brand and communication specialist and the title did not really change. Uh, when I first joined the team, I knew that there would be a very strong focus on social media, which was true and still is. But uh, since as the year kind of went on, um, the focus on social media is still there. But I also get to work a lot with employer branding, PR, brand strategy, communication strategy, uh, internal comms, and basically everything communication. And um, the basically, like in terms of evolution, it's been more of the workflow and how we're working as a team in general, how we communicate, how we get our processes done, so to say. And it's been it's been really cool. We can see that you had a lot of challenges during this year with us. Mm -hmm. Would you like to highlight one that made you specially proud or happy to be happy to contribute? Yeah, definitely. I would say that I'm most proud of the growth and engagement that we've witnessed over the year. Uh, that's mostly on social media, but also in our network, of course, and uh, Tavina itself. Like the amount of people that have come into the company since I joined has been immense and really cool. And one thing that I'm super, super proud of is definitely radio and interviews. I get to talk to a lot of my coworkers and I get to lead conversations sometimes, which is really, really fun and really cool. For the ones that are listening and don't know what the radio is, can you please explain a bit? Absolutely. So we have a internal communication channel that is Turbina Radio. It started out as a project during a, one of our breakout weeks. I believe it was in 2019. And then we kind of took the idea and evolved it more and more. And we've been running it for almost a year now as well, actually. And we basically use it as a time where we have two hours when we share the news and we call it Tabina News with our coworkers. We play some music. We have some Turbina conversations as well. So if somebody has something that they'd like to share, be that on a project that they've been working on or a personal achievement or even someone who just joined the company and wants to introduce themselves, they join us on the show. We have a nice chat and that's Turbina Radio. And giving you a live review. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> something that distinguishes Turbina, I would say, is that you can either work remotely, in a hybrid model, or in office. You decide. And you have been choosing to work in an hybrid model between office and other places where you prefer to work. So can you give us your experience on that? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, first of all, having the freedom to decide where you want to work and how you want to work is really, really a plus. It's very rewarding. And I chose to do the hybrid model because uh, I really enjoy coming to the office, but then there are also days where I prefer to work from home. Uh, so I try to have a mix between basically office and uh, home office. And that's usually two to three days at the office and then two to three days, depending on the week at home. And so far, so great. If there is something that we can take out of this conversation with you is that you had a lot of fun times uh, with us during this last year. So my last question would be about the future. Mm -hmm. What do you expect it to be? 
Well, I would really like to expand the brand as much as I can. Uh, not necessarily the brand in itself, but rather like the strategy, the communication, the reach, um, getting our services out there and so on. And to get more interviews done, I'm really enjoying learning this uh, process um, basically enhancing my communication skills, meeting Turbinis more and more, getting more in depth, and uh, of course, having a great time just with Turbine Kreuzberg. Awesome. If there is something that we can say is that it has been a pleasure to work with you during this last year, as it was a pleasure talking with you uh, today. So let's hope that this year turns into many more. You can count on that. And it's been an absolute pleasure working with you too, Sergio. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.